This is Travis and Peyton and Avery and Riley, and they'll be baptized today. For those of us who maybe are unfamiliar with how this works, baptism is it's kind of a neat thing. Um, the Bible says that we're to be saved and then we're to be baptized. And just to show you real quickly what that means is baptism, it doesn't save anyone. Sometimes you'll go to a different church or denomination and they may feel differently. But what we believe as a church is, is that salvation starts with you asking Jesus into your heart, believing if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, you'll be saved. It's saying no to sin and saying yes to God. It's identifying that Jesus died on the cross. Think about that. He died on the cross for our sins. He was raised to life on the third day. And as a result of that, his spirit can live inside of us. And so when you pray that prayer, he comes in. And then as a testimony to others, the church, the body of believers, the Bible talks about being baptized. So when any person comes and stands in this water and they're standing there, it's like when they're born. We're born sinners. We're born with sin in our heart and we have a bent towards self. And when we lower a person underneath the water, it's symbolizing that you're dying to your old life. Paul says, I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live. And then it says, but Christ lives in me. So when we raise you up out of the water in the same way that you were being raised to your new life, Jesus was raised to life so that you could, you could live that life. Amen. So I would ask all of you today, you four there, do you believe that Jesus died? Do you believe that he rose from the dead? Does he save you now? If you believe those things, just say he does. He does. Amen. Let's give God a hand. Yeah. So we're going to ask um, all of you to make your way over there, except for Riley. And go ahead and make your way over there. And Pastor Garrett and Pastor Adam are going to baptize this crew today. I just want to say a few words about Riley. She's been really cool in youth group. Her whole family is really awesome. I'm really proud of her. Um, and she just wants everyone to know that she loves God. And the reason that she wants to be baptized today is that she loves God and that she trusts him. Really proud of her. So we'll come help you get up in here. Riley Brooks, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. This is Peyton. Her and her sisters have, I mean, like I said about Riley, they've been awesome at youth, go ahead, at youth group. Um, it's been cool watching them grow and develop in the relationship with Jesus. So um, Peyton just wants everyone to know that she loves Jesus and she wants to follow him. So this is why she's being baptized. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right. Well, Mama and Daddy, what's better than watching one of your kids get baptized? Watching all of your kids get baptized together on the same day. This is... Avery Brooks, and uh, the thing about Avery, every time I see that girl, she's got a big old love of Jesus, joy deep down in my heart grin on her face, and uh, it's, it's a wonderful thing when you make the decision young to follow Jesus, and um, Avery, just keep following him, and he will keep putting that joy in your heart, and he will use you to continue bringing joy to other people as well. So Avery says this, I'm going to let you read it actually. I ask Jesus into my heart, and I love him. Amen. Amen. Your, your head's almost in the water, isn't it? All right. Avery Brooks, I baptize you. Let me see, you, see your hand. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right. I got to tell you a little bit about Travis. Um, for those of you who are new these uh, paintings on either side of the platform, we call those our prodigal boards. And all the names that are on there are people that we've been praying for as a church that they would come to know Jesus. It's not cold at all. And uh, Travis works with Dan Brennan. And over a year ago, Dan wrote his name on this board over here. And so uh, we as a church were praying for Travis before he even knew it. 
And uh, a few months ago, Dan called me and said, Adam, I've got this friend I work with. He's going through a tough time. Uh, is it okay if I give him your contact information just so we can have somebody to talk to? I said, sure. We got with Travis that day, and he um, came into my office, told me some things that he was going through, and uh, before he left, made the decision that day to follow Jesus. So here's what Travis says. I'll let him read it for you. I was going through a tough time, so I decided to have faith and follow Christ. Baptism is, baptism is another step I have committed to my newly found faith. Travis Watson, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. All right. So, guys, this is Brian Barbina. And, uh, Brian, go ahead and get in the tub if you'd like. Would you like to read your statement there, Brian? What made me realize that I needed to ask Jesus into my heart is that when I got home from church one day, I felt a voice calling out to me. It felt like it was time for me to get baptized. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, I thank you for Brian. I thank you for his sensitivity, Lord, to your spirit. Father, in all the different seasons that life will bring Brian, I pray that he would put you first. I pray, Lord, that the the resolve that I saw in his eyes in my office would always be there. Pray, Lord, that you'd give him a hunger for your word, that you would lead him in paths of righteousness for your name's sake. Thank you, Lord, for who he is. In Jesus' name. Brian Borbina, I baptize you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right, this morning I'm really excited. I've got two ladies I get to, to be honored with the opportunity to, uh, to baptize. This is Ashy. Um, she is one of our college students, uh, graduated uh, this last sem the semester before last, right? And, uh, you know, when you kind of go into college ministry, you kind of expect our students to come in and then, you know, go out and leave and you never get to see him again. But Ashley lives here now and she's serving in our church with Steve and yeah, give her a hand guys. And so it's an honor to get this moment and share it with you. Um, but if you would, would you please read your testimony here? I want to publicly declare my faith in Christ and my intentional decision to follow him. And I want to do that in the church and with the family that has supported me, prayed for me and loved me along the way. And Henson, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. All right, Reese, where you at? Um, I know her as Critter. Four years ago, my wife and, and uh, family got here. Come on in. Let's get you in here. You can go swimming a little bit. We got here, and there were a lot of you that made us feel here uh, at home and welcome. And Reese was one of them. I remember she was just a, a little tyke, and she's, she's still there. All right, and uh, uh, I remember seeing her, and I met her brothers and her family, and I came, and we were doing youth ministry. And I remember the first day I saw her, I called her Critter. And ever since that day, every Sunday that I got to see her, I got a hug. And uh, so she's always made me feel uh, welcome on a Sunday. Um, and I look forward to seeing how God uses that kind of love and that kind of encouragement to make others feel welcome to the kingdom of God. And we're excited this morning to share this honor and privilege to baptize you. I, wanna, I want to be baptized because I'm ready to follow God. I'm ready to follow him and believe in him. By being baptized, I'm saying that I want to follow God for the rest of my life. All right, Reese Franklin, I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Here's what Bella says. I want everyone to know that I want to follow Jesus for the rest of my life. And let him know how much I love him. <laughs> Father, thank you for this privilege. Thank you for Bella and for her heart for you. May it always be that way. <clears throat> the stuff that comes up, may she be one of those who has their heart always fixed on you. That her spirit would remain like it is now, tender and wanting to know you and wanting to love you. Thank you for her today. Thank you so much for giving her to us. Just bless this maybe a special time for her. She makes this fresh, all-out commitment to love and to serve you her whole life. In Jesus' name, amen. Isabella Leanne Foster, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.